Go to sleep. Wake up. We're doing a podcast. Sorry. Sorry, Lily. Hi. What's going on, sister? How are your legs? Fucking sore. Jachi and I yesterday went to a... Um, I took him to a <laughs> ride. A, a spin place, class. Spin class. And it was fucking hilarious. Fuck, it was fucked up. <laughs> when we first got in there, like the light to like... Going like red, blue, white, like because it was Independence Day and she was American, yes, the bird. Yes, and the music was blasting. It was like Rihanna, Calvin Harris. It was, it was everything you'd warned me about. I, know. I was just like, but you, d- you know, you didn't warn me about kid, the f- the fucking ballet shoes with p- plastic clips on the bottom of them that what I had to. What were you expecting to cycle in my joggers? Nah, they you got have the proper shoes, mate. Bad wetters, if you go. <laughs> a fucking cycle class you gotta put on it's like going to a bowling alley they're the dorkiest fucking shoes yeah but it makes Nothing. it easier to spin well it does it absolutely does but no denying they're dorky as all get out <laughs> yeah they? they're so icky which you didn't warn me about so, so then i see all these fucking nerd burgers like me walking across the way into the cycle studio going <laughs> like a bunch of fucking <laughs> horses Clicking and clacking across the footpath. <laughs> My favourite part, I genuinely, for the first five minutes, was like crying with laughter because it's so fast paced. Oh, mate. And we're like going up, down, and then like spinning around and then sitting back down and then up, up, and then hands are going in and out, in and oh. out. Jarch just could not keep up at all. He was just spinning. I just gave up and just started moving my legs. I was like, fuck it. Because she's going, now go back, forward, and out. Now push one. Now push two. Now clap. Now push back, push it. And I'm just going, Fuck it. And I saw everyone doing it. I go, I, I don't know this routine, so I'm just going to cycle. So I just stood there. I just sat there like like a naughty child just going, no, I refuse to do it. This is this is too but weird. But then, but then you got in the groove. Then Jachi picked up a little bit more. When she made it a bit easier, when she said two seconds up, then two claps. So, God, this is fucking, it was horrific, guys. I'm going to be honest crying. with crying. I couldn't stop laughing either. So you got to, you go up. One, two, back down. Go up. One, two, back down. And And then she got up for four. One, two, three, four, down. Woo, 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 woo. Like, and I'm not really into hype hype up exercise. By the end, what's everyone doing? (laughs) Judge and I are spinning our towels around. She's like, get your towels around. The whole class is going, woo. I was pissing myself whilst being angry and tired. It was actually, look. It was an, I, I, I won't do it again. Okay. It was an experience. It was fucking hard. That's what I mean. Dude, it my le- that's why legs. I had to sit down, dude. Not because I was being a naughty little boy half the time and like, no, I don't want to do that stuff. I couldn't stand up and ru- and. It's cycle. very hard. If <sighs> you have it on the hard, like when you twist it for the, 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 uh, the strength or incline or whatever it's called. Yeah. It's hard. I kind of prefer it when it's like harder on the strength when you twist the thing so you don't have to go so fast and stay up. It helps you push, keep oh, up. Oh, see, I've got a need for speed. Yeah. So you I'll, were really good at it. Thank you. I'll give you yes. I thought props. You, oh, yeah, I thought you were going to fist pump me, but then you went like I actually so wasn't. We, I wasn't, and then I saw you go for one, and so I tried to play it off. Like I was just getting ready for it. Like, I tried to save you there. Because <laughs> I went like this. Yeah, I was literally just getting my sleeve off my arm, and then I saw you went for it, and I was like, yeah, here we go. Then we got one. <laughs> I literally just went. <laughs> no. We're not known for our handshakes. We're not very good at that. We're very, ve- we're like we're like two middle-aged white men trying to do a cool handshake. Yeah, it's never going to work well. Have you ever had a good handshake? Yep. I can. I'll show you one that just off the cuff. Put your hand out. You go one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot. Is it cool? Nah. <laughs> this is the one to do. You just go like this. There you go, bro. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, but that's that's a good one. That's a good one. I if you haven't noticed when we meet new people, am very awkward whether I go to shake or oh, hug. Mate, I don't know what the fuck to do. I don't know what the fuck to do. I, and then I go, oh, we're hugging. Oh, we're shaking. Oh, man. I'm like, why is there not just a universal way to greet? Because people, everyone's different. Especially post COVID, yeah. But like the bloody like, I I just go fuck it. You got to nut up and just if it's a bird, you just go straight in, kiss on the cheek, 
and we're probably not going to hug. It's just, hey, darling, how you going? That's nice what I you. like to do. But then you can sell someone's going in for the hug. So you're like, oh, we're hugging, we're hugging too. But then in like a business meeting, like, oh, even the other day I bumped into like two guys and a girl and I didn't know the girl, but I knew the guys not very well. Like I probably didn't need to stop, but for some reason I decided to. Yep. And so I hugged each of the guys and then I was like, hey, I'm Lou. Went to hug her and she was just like oh, so, so she, awkward. She chucked a Lou. Hands by the side. Yeah, you know how it feels, I mama. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to a stranger. No, you just do it to your nearest and dearest. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. I know what you mean, though. Like, yeah. I, you know what fucks me off is when, um, when you you know someone and they've got a mate there, and then they don't introduce their mate, and you so yes. you just then now you're involved in the conversation. Then and you've then, got to go. Mm-hmm. Sorry, mate. G'day, Jack. How you going? Although I am, I've done that. As well, so I, I can't think really I'm usually. I think if I'm stopping for like 30 seconds, I won't, or like 20 seconds, I probably won't introduce. But if I'm like stopping and knowing having a good chat, I'll go, Oh, this is Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't if it was a quick little thing. Well, if you're stopping for like 10 seconds, like, Hey, how are you? Yeah, good. All right, see you around. I'm not going to say who it is. But if I'm stopping and knowing I'm going to have like a, a minute combo, yeah, then I'll be like, This is Jack. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fair. I kind of get, yeah, I kind of get that. Does make it a little awkward though. You never know how long that combo is going to last. True. You know, you kind of <sighs> just got to nut up and get it done. Do you also find if you're with someone of the opposite sex, you automatically think that people think you're with them as like a date or something? I suppose it's different for you because you're in a relationship. Like if I'm going for a walk with one of my yeah, guy nah, mates, nah. I'm like, are people thinking. Oh, I probably would. Here? Yeah, with you. Yeah. Nah, no, I don't. No, no, never really crosses my mind. Huh. Well, dude, we fucking hang out so much. I hang out with Lilia heaps. She's my fucking PT. Yeah, oh, it doesn't even cross my mind. I hang out with like Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Like yeah. people probably think we're together. Same, same with me and Jason Stacey. Yeah, people probably think they just see Rosie like, oh, they're equal hotness. Like they're probably together. <laughs> Why are you doing that with your tongue? Rosie Huntington Whiteley wouldn't spit on me down the fucking street. No. She's had Statham for that many years. She's used to primo, primo ham, primo she's pork so sword. She's so hot, but he's she's also... used to primo pork sword. Okay. okay. He's also stunning. Oh, hotter than a two dollar pistol. Yeah, we though. actually googled them the other day. She's a bit taller than him. He's he's a, he's an SK. Yeah, but he pulls it off. He 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 pulls it right off. Yeah. He could pull these panties right off if you know what I mean. Yeah, I like, do. That's pretty explanatory. Wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to, you know what nothing I mean? Nothing, yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah, Statham's got it. Hey, can I ask you a personal question? No. Yeah, cool. Nah, go on. Finish up? Yeah, how long have we been going for, <laughs> Dior? <laughs> um, what result off. did you get in school? What do you mean? Uh, what, so how does the schooling system work in New Zealand? It's called like, NCEA. And what, so do you get a score out of 100? Uh, it's like you get like achieved merit or distinction. What do you get? What do you think? Merit. Achieved. Is it the lowest? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I got the best in drama. Like that sports. doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Well, but dude, no, don't like worry. Maths, oh, I've got a fucking science, mind. English, economics, yeah. cooking. So you what? It's everything. three tiers. So you don't get so it's achieved merit and then distinction. Yeah, and I achieved is the lowest. So you passed though. Yeah, I passed. So what do you get if you don't get an achieved? I think you got to. I think you got to sit it again or do something else, a special exam or something. Well, when we got it, what's it called? An ATAR now? ATAR now? What the fuck was it called when I got it? UAI. I thought it was HSC. The HSC is the like is the fucking like process thing. It's like the accompanying body or whatever. Oh. It's the exams. The exams of the eight. Yeah, right. sorry. And then, but you get so. But the UAI was like your score. So it was out of 100. What do you think I got out of 100? 65. <gasps> Don't flatter me, you sweet son of a bitch. 50? Oh, you flattering motherfucker. 30? Don't Get fucking diss me. Asterix? Mate, I got 42.7. Is that a pass? Nah. <laughs> so what did you do? What? I failed. Did I you flunked. have to do it again? No. I did you go to university? Yeah, I talked my way in. Bullshit. Swear to God. I swear to God. The bloke, when I got into the course, the D-Max, the head of the course, was like, he goes, oh, you're Jack Archdale, the bloke that talked his way into university. Are you? 
Yeah. Fair dinkum. I am fair dinkum. Mm-hmm. I failed school. I flunked it. Full flunked it. What was your best subject? Probably drama. Mm-hmm. Or art. Did you have to do, a, um, in, did you guys call it intermediate? Yeah, like after primary school you go to intermediate for two years and then high school? Oh, middle school. Middle school, okay. Yeah, middle school. Did you ever have woodwork? Yeah, d and Remember once I made a pencil case. A pencil case? Yeah, a little Out wood. of wood? A wooden one, and it had a little slidey bit, and then you'd put the oh, that's kinda cool. thing back in. We used to make barbecue prongs and fucking Ooh. all sorts of shit. One time I um we lit a a Bunsen burner, you Yeah, but that's probably in science. Science? And the um the thing just went pow. Exploded. Yeah. Yeah, I used to I used to like science because you could do that sort of shit. What about did you have the cooking one? Yeah, I, I actually did cooking because we did it with girls. Just little six piece. But that's why. That's why we did it. And then we did I think you have any have any luck? We luck? got I think we got kicked out of the class. I think they removed us from the from the course. Me and my mates, me and my mate Pitto. Pitto like karate chopped me in the throat. Okay. We need to backtrack from all of this. Your friends and your nicknames is absolutely fucked. Why? You don't have a normal nickname for a friend. It's like fucking old old turkey turkey grubber over there, and then wooden curtain and fucking wooden fl- curtain fleeso. Well, it's more like stubby, grubbo, pitto. That's sort knuckles. Of shit. Knuckles. Yeah, but that's that's just fucking that's normal. Nah. This is Australia. Nah. You it's, don't. Do you all will agree with me? He's got a lot of nicknames. Yeah. And they're all fucking weird. Yeah. Weird? They are. They're like fucko and dingus and yeah. Bob. <laughs> Bob <laughs> and yeah. Herbert the Dongo. And yeah. We've got Mungrel. One of your friends called Mungrel? Yeah, Spud. What, do you, what did he do to Spud. get called Mungrel? He's a Mungrel of a cunt. Did he go? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just Mungers. Mungrel, Mungers. It's just, that's kind of normal. I, I wouldn't have, until you guys started saying that and teasing me about it, I wouldn't have thought about it. You just, every person you write, like, I'll say all my friends' first names and you've got all these. Yeah, yours are all like, oh, so Charlotte and Isabella and Arapakalela and Impico Tatella and, um, and Daisy. That is Daisy not true. And, um, and, and Flazy and, um, and Pikachu and. <laughs> Pika. Yep. That was an ex-boyfriend's pet name, wasn't it, buddy? Pika, pika. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I don't know. I just think that's... I guess it is what it is and then you fucking die. Now, do you Luke, think that, Josh, because your nickname is kind of normal and it's actually based off your name, do you think, like, your friends don't really like you? I much? think they don't respect me, yeah. yeah. I think that there's a lack of respect there, Dior. People uh, always say to me, they're like, so his name's Josh. And I'm like, no, his name's Jack Archdale. Hmm. Combine them together, Josh. What could... I could be... Leldon. Louisa Dalden. Or I could Leldon. be Louisa. Nah, you'd be Leldon. Because be, it's like the first two. You've got to go mm-hmm. in order. But yeah, look, but... Whoa, hold on. What was, uh, what was my thought? Oh, yeah. Good podcasting. Hold on. Should we play the game we were playing earlier? Arch. What was my thought? Look to the left. That helps you learn. <laughs> That's not. Okay. I can't remember what I was saying. You want to change topics? Go on, do you all give us a topic? Um, but hold on. Back to the fucking <laughs> thing. No, I'm over the nicknames. Not the nickname, you fuckhead. The, the scores. Oh. Because I had I'm a theory. Over that too. I had a theory, okay, though. Go on. But this was just a personal theory. Because I wanted to ask you that. Because I was like, I wonder if Lulu is one of those chicks that is super book smart at school. But then just has zero common sense. Like, Fef got 99 in her fucking new AI. Mm, she's really smart. But cannot fucking reverse park to save her life or fucking doing it. I've actually gotten way better at reverse parking. I you're did you're two, actually not bad, buddy. I did two bangers without, and I don't have a reversing camera. Gianni's old. Two bangers. Like, it was like tight, tight. Yes, yeah, that's what I kind of miss with the ute, with not having my ute anymore. I had that thing so fine tuned mm. that I could park that fucker anywhere without even needing any assistance. Well, now I've got shit beeping at me and fuck, it's annoying. That's what I mean. Everyone's like, oh, you're a terrible driver, Lou. I'm like, well, I could sort of parallel park now. You can park. I don't yeah, know if you're better. a great driver. Still got to do that manual thing, too. Yeah, we'll do that when I'm back. Um, yes, yeah, so it turns out you're not book smart either. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> great theory. <laughs> 
Is that but after? Am I. Is that after I thought Dire Straits was he a human? It, look, it might have been the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. Just one of them things. I was like, mm. wonder if Lulu like did really well at school and then like an you, undercover genius. Yeah, but then just through life she fumbles a little bit. Yep. But look at you now. You got merch on your microphone. Mm. You got a podcast that was the number one Australian podcast. Yep. You got fucking. You built up your social media, your own business. You own Aww. your own business. You're a go getter, mate. Thanks we were so fucking much. dipshits at school. Yeah. We were. So that goes out to the bed. No, it's it not the be all and end all because we both <laughs> fucked up. It's just like inspirational, man. Yeah. Get a quote Don't, up, dude. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do? I've got. Wait, some I just got to tell you something. Oh yeah, tell me. I went shopping today to take over some things for um my brothers when I go to London. Let's Lulu, going to Europe tomorrow. Yeah. Oh wait. When's this go out? Friday. Lulu's gone. Lulu went yesterday. Lulu, go bye bye. See you, Lulu. Bye bye. Um, so we're taking the pod international. Uh, there'll be a couple that will come out while I'm over there, but then we've got four weeks. Yeah, we're pre-recorded a couple. We're pre-recorded of a couple. Just so just full can... transparency with the bedwetters. We don't want to fuck you guys over here. So we've got a couple pre-recorded, and then I've taken all the podcast gear, and it's Lulu International, yep. and I will likely be drunk. Or hungover. Correct. Few in the bank. Yep. Few in the tank. Yeah, uh, that's what we that's what we said. It's yeah. one of the old sayings. Um, yeah. So but I went shopping and I got Miso, my brother's corgi, a little koala toy, a little baby Kevin for Miso. So I can rip it up. That's what dogs do. You just no. know that. Be prepared for that. Miso's very sweet-hearted like uh, Toby. It's a corgi. Not as cute as Toby. Not Sorry, as cute. Chris. Is it a black and white corgi? Yeah. I, I saw one of them walking in the park the other day. Never seen one before. They're not as cute as the Pembroke Welsh corgis like Toby. Yes, you need a Pembroke Welsh for what? what? <clears throat> Miso's cute, but nothing. Really does. Toby shits on me, so sorry, Chris. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> so uh, sorry. Your dog's a piece of shit. No. what she's saying. No, but yes, I got a little, um, I got a little um, Kevin, and then I got two bags of pineapple lumps, the normal ones, and then hokey pokey ones. So the ones you gave me, filming. What were they? Hokey pokey. They're fucking lit. Yeah, pineapple lumps, hokey pokey, and then I also got some normal ones, which I also ate. They're a weird. So now they're I have a to weird chocolate. What is the stuff on the inside? Toffee. No, what? What's Basically. The, have you had these? Like Dior? A, it's like a pineapple. It's a pineapple lump. I uh, like maybe ages ago. I know they exist, but I couldn't think. Bruh, of what they're hard. I've never had them before. They're fucking off their yeah, head. Yeah, hard on your teeth. But I, I ate both packets. Really? But I have to go get two more. more. Yeah. I'm like a child. I can't have them sitting around. You seriously are. Just get them as soon as you go to the airport. Yeah. And then I got them a nice bottle of wine. Did you? Which I'll pack up, pack in with the little podcast gear. Why wouldn't you just buy that over there? I don't know. I just thought it'd be pre-planned. I've been so organised. I also got these little containers like old people would have for all their medication. Yeah. To put all my supplements in. And then I put in little snap lock. And then I put in little snap lock. Snap, snap, snap. Snap lock. Snap lock bags, um, like powders and things. It sounds like you're trafficking drugs. <laughs> that's, that's no, that, exactly. dude, I'm a bit worried. It dude, might look like that. Seriously. Is it in your carry-on or your fucking check-in? Is that inappropriate? I got a samurai sword back from somewhere. What? No, I didn't. It was a ninja star. Sorry. So they don't check them all. But I'm worried. What if they're like, that's cocaine? They'll test it. So, will I get my bag back? Not. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it's cocaine, Lou. <laughs> I mean, my suitcase. Uh, yeah. Or should I put it in my carry on, Josh? I'm scared. Will you come check me in? No. Nah. Mm. Um, now, I'm listen up. I'm a bit up. nervous to fly on my own. I'm what time are you get, flying? I'm going to have to get drunk at 10 p.m. Yeah, I, I'd get fucking blind because you're flying at 10 p.m. What else are you going to do? I know. I really hope I can just pass out. You'll be able to. You think I'm the best sleeper in the world. I'm not. Darling, you just told us before you're in premium econ. That's got to be better for sleeping. Yeah, it is. You've got a little foot rest. Can I, but that means I don't get to use the foot swing. Thank fuck. I know, it's a bit icky. Isn't it? Can you just imagine me sitting with my legs <laughs> going... No, no, no. <laughs> the worst thing would be setting it up. Going... Sorry. Oh, so you bumped the person. Sorry, mate. I'm just setting up my foot swing. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, mate. Yeah. Oh, no, it's just a foot swing under your seat. Don't worry. It's not going to affect you. you your, your feet won't touch my feet. I've done it before. Trust me. And then I also bought, oh, that I saw on TikTok, <laughs> this, um, this is the neck thing that wraps around your neck. It's come like all compressed. 
I don't want to unlock it yet, just in case. But like, I think this is you be like those African women that stretch their necks. Like, well, that. what are they? What's it called? It it sits like that, but I, it's in, it's all wrapped up, compressed. But I want to undo it to see what it looks like. But I'm worried it'll be really big. It won't be. Oh well, I'll undo it tonight and test it out. Yeah. So then I'll have that, and then I've got my eye mask, which has two little cushions, so it's very cushiony. And then I bought my sleep spray. Jesus, your preps. Yeah, and then I've got I bought a really expensive face mask. I bought like hydrolytes, collagen, greens powder, moisturizers, hand cream. Fuck me dead. Well, I'm travelling for like 24 hours. Yeah, you do feel fucked after That's what that. I mean, leave. I like, want to come off that. Having plane. a shower is the best thing in the world after that shit. I want to come off the plane looking hot. You won't, mm. even with all that shit. No one comes off planes looking hot. No, it's not not much oxygen in the plane. There's plenty of oxygen. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. There's super heaps of it, so no one dies, Lou. That's the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> There's, like, heaps of oxygen and stuff, so... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's like, one thing you actually I mean, don't need to worry about. What I mean is there's not much, like, fresh air. Yeah. You're in an aluminium tube. There she is, champion. Champion. <laughs> but, like, the, you know, like, you're breathing in bloody Bruce from aisle B4. He's farts. Yeah, and you got bloody Trent up in T2. Yeah. And, he, you know, he's burped. He's and that's burped. A, that, that, oh, that's, this that is making me a little fucking... That butter chicken burps coming straight down to me. What are you doing to yourself, Dale? Don't even think like that. Hmm. That's weak me. I don't want to get Maybe I should fun. get some type of, like, oxygen mask. You know you can get those fucking Dyson bloody... Have you seen them? They look like the most silly things. They're Dyson headphones with an air purifier at the front, so it's a full mask I on your thing. that. No, no, Dale, you don't. You look like Bane from fucking Batman. Bane! What, what are you doing, Batman? What are you doing, Batman? <laughs> Indian Bane? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Batman? Batman. Mm, Batman. <laughs> What's one of Bane's lines? Uh, I, I, something about being born in the something and I was raised, you know that one. Yeah. I was, you were uh, born in the darkness. I was raised in it. That's so good. Is it? I was born in the darkness. You were raised in it. This is, I think the, the quote is definitely wrong. You, it sounded good coming from your mouth. Thanks, sister. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, do you want to do, I've got some farm oh, terms yes. for you. Oh, fuck me, dead cunt. Oh, Someone dude. just came in and Jarch got scared. I actually didn't even, just saw a lump. All right, Lily, you ready for some farm terms? Yes. We haven't done this in a I've while. I've never been more ready from Farmer Lou. I like it. No, I like it. Okay. I was just processing it, and I don't mind it. Righto. What do you think a Massey Ferguson is? I think it's a giant bull. So you're like... Yeah. Oh, that's a Massey Fergo. It's not like a scientific name for the bull, but it's like... It's a colloquialism. Yeah, it's like, oh, fuck, we've got a, we got a couple of Massey Fergos getting... Coming from their, um, what's that thing called? Where you they, got it. Oh, where they go on abbreviment, abbreviant, 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 abbreviant. Adjustment. <laughs> Adjustment. <laughs> Close. Abbreviment. You're actually wrong. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's cruel. <laughs> it's a brand of um, agricultural equipment, tractors and the like, you know what I mean? Mess, are they, is it named after a guy called Fergo? You could only assume. Mm. And was he massive? Yeah, big. Long. Long. How big? Yeah, like you could plow with that thing, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make sexual innuendos. I'm sorry. What's a Ever again. What's a brangus? A brangus? Yeah. A bacon beef burger. <laughs> Okay. You know how McDonald's Explain. has the Angus burger? Yeah, yeah. With bacon. So it's a burger with, with bacon. Home kill from the farm. <laughs> so so confident. you got to respect it. Mm. No. What is it? It's a crossbreed of cattle. So it's a Brahma. Oh, well, close. And an Angus. Because you, you make the, that would yeah. be made into yeah. a burger. So, but it's not a burger, is it? Mm. It's a breed. I feel like a cheeseburger. What do you think? What do you think a belted Galloway is? Belted Galloway. Belted Galloway. A naughty little cow who's been belted. 
<laughs> He's like, get away, Kat. You look Galloway, you belted Galloway. Can I be honest? You're kind of right. Ooh. You're right. It's a breed. It's also a breed of cattle. They're like black yeah. with a big white belt around their oh. stomach. Oh, they're quite common cows. They're around the track. I've seen them a lot. Belted Galloways. I've seen them. Have you? Yeah, I've definitely seen them. You naughty girl. You so know. you were right. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank buddy. You. That what? was awkward again. That's the first time I yeah, went like it, this. It, yeah, it always is, buddy. What's salinity? Salinity is what you'd fertilise the grass with so that it's edible for the cows. Because <laughs> grass by itself just isn't edible. It's, tr- well, it's, it's, it's fundamentally grass is not edible, so you want to fertilise all grass it so makes it becomes it, edible. It gives it more nutrients. Almost does the opposite. Oh. Sal- salinity is when there's like an overload of salt in the earth. Like oh. I think it's sodium chloride, right? And uh, it fucks the earth. It's bad, 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 bad. Bad for the animals. Bad, so the opposite, buddy. Mm. You've come off such a strong one with the belted Galloway, and now you hit me with that fucking the wrong one. It's okay. Hopefully I can bring it back. Love that a, a round Brangus, number two. Brangus was a fucking beef and bacon <laughs> burger. It was good shit. What do you think a stay is? I feel like I know this one. Stay. A staycation. No. <laughs> Um, is it the female cow? No. <laughs> female sheep? No. What is it? Here you go. Just try to see if you can get. Stay. It's more, let's say it's more equipment based. Okay. Um, pass me the stay. Could you use it for me in a sentence? No. Oh. We had a good thing going here, nah, but okay, it's not a I'll just spelling go bee. fuck myself. Yeah. Um, stay. Oh, this one stumped me. <laughs> is it stay? Is it um, what they would uh like another kind of like branding machine that they would brand the animals with? Nah, mm. <laughs> not at all. What is it? Very off on this one. It's basically a brace for a fence post. Usually on like, like a, a strainer brace. post. Yeah, like a yeah, like a neck brace doll in case the fence hurts its fucking neck. Well <laughs> what else would a brace be for? It basically is in order to make a, a post oh, like start, you brace know, a brace it, it braces in case it. The animals come barging into it. Well, more so that it stays where it is. But it would stay where it is unless something was coming at it with full force. Jack. Oh true, yeah, that's sorry. You'd so, know yeah. all about it. Yeah, you'd know all about it. Yeah. So yeah, that's so, there's no so you're saying take there's your no farm point. Term and shove so, it up your ass. So what you've just I can't believe it. You've just had such a fucking breakthrough that you've just realised for the whole entire agricultural industry that stays are no longer needed. No, they are needed. I'm just saying they're probably needed for the animals <laughs> to not break through them. <sighs> Could yeah. be wrong. Yeah. Could be. Please don't make this I mean well. You are making it I mean well by leaving. Well, we're doing the podcast from afar. <laughs> we're not seeing you for five weeks. Mate, it's going to we be a wig out. We see each other like three times a day. That it's, it, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just, it's going to be good. You, you're looking You'll forward You'll be enjoying to it. Europe and fucking having a blast. I'll be back in the bush having a great time. You're looking forward to it because at the moment I'm beating you to your own jokes. In which which one? Like, like I'll say something funny, which you were like, I was going to say that because we've spent so much time together. You actually are. Yeah. You're taking the punchlines right out of my yeah, fucking and you're mouth. Like, dang nabbit! I'm literally I'm going dang nabbit, brother. Dang. Oh shucks! Seriously, you are literally. I've, ha- I've had it, it's happened like ten times where you say it. I'm like fucking hell. I was like I literally was about to say that. I'm quick. It, it's too much time with each other. Yeah. Any more farmies? That's it on farm oh, terms. Okay. Well, you I did got, really badly. I got some more farm news. I actually heard this last night. Did you know that there was just a new record set for the most expensive cow ever sold? Can I guess? Yep. In the whole world? It. In the whole world. New cow? world record. One cow. cow. No, cow. Cow? Cow. What breed was it? Was it a, Gallo- a brunted Galloway? It was not a brunted Galloway. It was a Nellore. Right. Nellore. Okay. I'm going uh, 1.3 million. Josh? Fucking cow. 
Most expensive ever in the whole wide world. Ever. It broke its own record. Oh. Let's go on even two. No, nah, so uh, one third of the cow was sold for $1.44 million, which makes the whole thing worth $4.3 million. <laughs> How is one cow worth that much? <laughs> that is so much cash. Yeah. 4.34? Four, 4.3 4? 4. 4. for the total. It's so in, in 2022, uh, half of the ownership of the same cow was sold for $800,000, but now uh, one third was just sold for $1.44 million. Why would you just want half a cow? It's something to do with, it's like a breeding thing, right, Josh? That's yeah, why you go yeah, like yeah, halves yeah, on yeah. cows, yeah. So that like is they... so fucking wild. It's not even like a nice looking cow. Wow. That is loose. That is, that's a car park in Sydney. You yeah. could buy for that. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good trivia, Dior. Mm. Yeah. 4.4, 4, holy fucking dooly. I actually it's read a stat wild. yesterday, or today actually. Jesus. A big, big dog big next door. Author. Um. That this, I think, in the last year, because there's a big wild pig problem at the moment in Australia, and I think there's been like 83,000 pigs recorded as culled, you know, in like in the last year or something like that, which I think has doubled or fucking tripled from the year before. It's the most pigs ever killed in one year, but it's still an absolutely fuck all because of the wild pig problem. It's so bad. There's still that mean millions of them. More bacon. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're wild. Oh, you don't need them. Yes, pop them. But they're everywhere, dude. They destroy. They like they. If uh, this is what I heard, they're coming into Sydney. They're into Sydney and they're eating domestic pets. Your dogs. Oh, you shit. swear to God, read it in the land today. They're they're eating dogs and cats and shit. It'd be on the outskirts, but that feral pigs is such a big problem that now they're infiltrating Sydney. Imagine you're in bloody Rose Bay. You go out back and your your cor- corgi's gone. Y- yeah, by a big fucking filthy boar. Those are the ones with the big tusks. Ugh. I saw a fox in fucking wall clothes last night. Yeah, lots of foxes around. Little fuckers. Fantastic, Mr. Fox. <laughs> but how wild is that now? Sydney people well, are having it well, affected. Well, it is wild. <laughs> because they're, they're, they're wild boars, Jack. No, I understood it. <laughs> I thought it was good. I'll give it to me. <laughs> you give it to you. Okay. It's good. Uh, do you want to Lulu go surfing on Google Chrome? Fucking oath, mate. Stop reading your texts. Oh, my God. You were, weren't you? Were you reading your texts? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I'm going into my... We caught a deal. No. Okay, Lulu go <laughs> surfing on Google, Google Chrome. Dun, 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 dun. Hit it, sit. That's good little addition. Thank you. Um, this headline reads, Man down 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes to defend famous 4th of July contest belt. Fucking disgusting. 62 hot dogs. Bear in mind, Jack, and buns in 10 minutes? That's averaging one every 10 seconds or less. Jesus, he's got that throat zilla. How, what, what do you reckon your strategy would be? Uh, you know what, Lou? I'm so disgusted by those competitions, I wouldn't have a strategy. They fucking make me sick. I saw it on the news. I had to turn it off. I just find it fucking disgusting, these cunts shoveling food into their mouth, water in, it's all mulching everywhere. And I just, honestly, I I hate it. Kind of impressive, though. 62 hot dogs in 10 minutes. It is super impressive. I think but it's, I could, to me, it's too disgusting to even care about. I reckon I could do like 100 nuggets in 10 minutes. Not a chance you could. No, no, I love you. Not a chance you could. When you, I, I reckon you'd max out at you'd max out at twenty eight to thirty. When I'm back from Europe, we're doing a a chicken nugget contest. Yeah, I'll beat you. No, I will beat you. I'll beat you. I'll fit a hundred nugs. I'll, mate, you will not. You, you will get nowhere near a hundred nuggets. You will max out at thirty. I reckon I'll max out at thirty five. Dior, what's the record for how many nuggets someone's eaten? Oh, okay, I'll look it up. I did see, while I'm looking that up, I saw something on that story as well in that hot dog eating competition that there was one woman that entered who just sat down for the whole time, ate two hot dogs at a leisurely pace and left. <laughs> just sat down for lunch and left. <laughs> Love her. Respect the hell out of that. Just enjoy yeah, it. Like, what a genius. Um, Whoa. 
How okay, many? so the first thing that's come up says uh, 19 chicken nuggets in 60 seconds. Oh, oh yeah. Jesus. Um, that's in a minute. Oh, someone's eating 100. Uh, yeah, what? that's me. Lou's getting nowhere near it. You get Apparently nut- Usain Bolt ate 1,000 chicken nuggets during the 2008 Olympics. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. We got a world record breaker from 2022. Yeah. Uh, Leah Shutkiva from the UK. Yep. Where are we here? It's a Guinness World Records. Okay, doke. Um, 352 grams, which is the equivalent of 19 nuggets in 60 seconds. Oh, that's the same one I said before. Oh, fuck. My bad. So is anyone at 100? I mean, people have had 100, I'm sure. You couldn't eat 100, bud. I could definitely do 50. No, you couldn't. Easily. I eat 20 in a sitting. (laughs) Or someone ate 170 in one sitting. Um, I'm trying to find out how long that was. I reckon I'm, dude, I reckon I'm maxing out at like 35, 40. Well, we'll give it a hoon when I'm back. I... I can guarantee you you won't do 100. I'd be very surprised if you get over 50. Well, I will. Watch the space. Next headline. Big space. London train line halted by swan on the tracks. That's making news? Well, I tell you what, that swan could bat the bloody train off with those wings. <laughs> this is what we're going to. She won't let go, will she? <laughs> I've been tagged in multiple TikToks, Jack, of, of the swan attacking that man. And not breaking his limbs with the wind from his wings. He is. He's going, caw Yeah, but is he snapping bones with it? Nearly. No. Nearly's no. And not even nearly. All right? So miss me with the swan shit. Fine. But not a bad yarn. Next story. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Shopper finds snake inside bag of broccoli from Aldi. <laughs> That's actually a good one. A grandfather says he was... Says. Sorry. Says. It's just because I read it that way. That's fine. Let me be. Okay. A grandfather says he was given a fright after he opened a bag of broccoli he had purchased in an Aldi store and found a ladder snake inside. A what snake? A ladder. Ladder snake. Neville, sixty-three, oh, describes the snake. Described finding, <laughs> described finding the reptile, which was later identified as a ladder snake, is a frightening experience. No shit, Neville. There's a fucking snake in your brock. <laughs> your brock. So it was taken out of the fridge to prepare a meal, a succulent Chinese meal. Yeah. He found the non-venomous snake nestled in near the stem. It was pretty frightening. I'm not good with snakes. Yeah, if you're not good with snakes, you'd shit yourself. Yeah. You'd shit, oh, I suppose you'd fucking half shit yourself anyway. That's a slithery little snake. <laughs> it's a slithery little snake. It's a slithery little snake in his broccoli. <laughs> That's very sexual. That's disgusting. I don't you, think what I would could, you do? I don't think I could eat for a, a day. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not that bad. But you know, like, I think I'd be traumatised. Like, anything in a packet, I'd just be like, I can't go can't near do that. It. Yeah. Anything? Anything in a packet, I'd be like, ah. <laughs> even, uh, even Mama's little hokey pokies. What are oh, they the, called? The pup pineapple I'm lumps. sure you'd find a couple of things in a packet you'd do, Lou. I think the pineapple lumps would be safe. Yeah, I reckon you'd have a few. I think the pineapple lumps would be would be safe from mum. <laughs> I'm mum. <laughs> I don't think they would be safe. Oh, yeah. I think so. you'd find some Maltesers. I think you'd get some some favourites. Okay, a little box of fames. Okay. I reckon if Daddy bought around, I'm Daddy, by the way, if Daddy bought around a little bag of Maltesers, mum's chowing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> question Yeah Who buys roses anymore? Great question Don't know Maybe they're next to go after fantails I reckon mark, I love Mark our words Rose is gone Yeah I like. There's some shit flaves in there Is there? The peppermint's always left to last Yeah I just like the classic um, Strawberry Yes The hazelnut The caramel Caramello And just the little dairy That looks like a little poop True, yeah, they're, I'd, I prefer like the raspberry ones. Oh, there's also a really good caramel one in there. Actually, you know what? I fucking love roses. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
<laughs> twisted my own bloody arm. Completely changed your tune. Yeah, see, who's buying roses? And then within three minutes, or 30 seconds of my own brain, I thought, fuck, I'm buying a box of roses. I think it's because we probably avoid them because they were usually like the fancy chocolate your mum would have after a dinner party or something like that. Yes. They bring out the roses. And they, they are expensive where we can find cheaper options. How much would a box of roses be now? Dior. I'm going ten ninety nine. I'm going thirteen bucks. Ooh, pricey. Yeah, worth it though. Lots of flaves. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Bad. So where's this at? IGA is selling them for twenty three dollars. Fuck yeah, off. Fucked. Yep. Roses. Woolly, Woolies have them for eighteen. No. Not a chance am I spending eighteen dollars on a box of roses. See what I mean? They were the fancy chocks, fox. They. I swear they used to be like ten dollars. Probably were. Yeah. Twenty-three dollars. That's daylight robbery. You need to take out a small loan. Anything else, Dior? <laughs> That's pretty. With Woolies, IGA, DoorDash have the smaller size for thirteen bucks. Oh, thirteen. Of ordering them online then. Thirteen, dog. Called it. Yeah, um, that's the small one. You're not going to take that to a dinner party. Fuck no. No, you got to get a big mama, which is twenty three ninety nine. Yeah. Might as well get a bottle of red. Yeah. Yeah. That's more our fucking wheelhouse these days. Yeah. Fuck the roses. Uh, one last headline for you. Yep. Distant ancestor to pizza shown in 2,000-year-old painting, but toppings are a little different. Now, the reason I brought this one up, Jack, is I've done my research before seeing this headline. Where do you think the pizza was invented? Well, I would assume Italy and Florence. No, when? When? Like what year or what century? 1600s. It was in the 18th century. Oh, so the 1700s. Is that 2,000 years old? No. No. <laughs> 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 oh. No, because what I was, Fuck. what I was meaning Fuck is, me. what I was meaning, Did Judge, drop what I was there. meaning is because <laughs> this painting is 2,000 years old oh, and it shows a like, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It shows like a focaccia bread. Yeah, right. Okay. It, this, the, it, 2,000 years ago, it shows a, a focaccia bread. Hey, it doesn't matter what it showed. Could have showed Jesus and fucking Mary smoking a fucking cone, Lou. You just said, 18th century. Is that, so is that 2,000 years ago? Doesn't matter what it showed. All right, kid? You cooked it. <laughs> oh, I had such good intentions Oh, as well. you did. Like, I did my research on the second part. Yeah, you, you Cause, even claimed cause the, you did your research. Because what, what I was going to go on to say is that yeah. the pizza was invented in Naples in the 18th century. Okay. But this painting that's 2,000 years old shows a focaccia bread with some cheese, some tomatoes and basil. Okay. Which is essentially a pizza, Jack. Yeah, is it? Well, was it like cooked and everything? Or? Yes. It was, so it is kind of like a pizza. Yes. Not as interesting as you completely <laughs> cooking well, confusing, you know, 200 odd years with 2,000 years. <laughs> One of the birds at my old work, she, she, she was born in 2000. And she completely cooked this. Shout out to Abby Rose. Shout out to Abstacker. She's like, because um, I was like, yeah, I was born in 89. She's like, get fucked. You know, anyone that's younger just sees that as like. So old. They're like, holy fuck. She's like, I can't believe it. It's fucking, that's crazy. I was born in 2000, which means I'm going to get to see the year 3000 and you're not. And I'm like, hey, kid, not how it works. <laughs> she was like, she thought I went from 2000, 100 years to 3000. I was like, that's a millennium. That's a thousand years, yeah. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Saw your eyes there, bud. You weren't with me. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't with me. <laughs> thought I'd do you the service you of me. Ex- me uh, so I thought I'd do you the service of explain, explaining it because I noticed that you were trying to figure that one out <laughs> as well. I went, I went, no, shit. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, you were with her. You were with I her. I love how I went. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, buddy, it's wrong. It's 100. <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway, me. we have fun. Oh, hotline. Right. Hotline. All right, bed with a hotline. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just jump in quickly before we start that? Had a lot of DMs, people saying that we should get a, what's it called, a, pa- a Patreon? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they want to hear the bits that Nope. We, no. Not a fucking chance. Not a chance, senoritas. I need to, I need to sort of <laughs> make this sort of a, a, this needs to retain a level of longevity. Yeah. <sighs> we do that. We're out. We're gone. We're cancelled. All right, kid. So You're f- not getting it. So fuck no. We'll do an OnlyFans. 
Will we? Yep. We already started that. Yeah, well, we've already yeah, we've already filmed some content for the OnlyFans. Yeah. yeah, we'll do an OnlyFans. How's that's better? That bit, that would be less controversial. It actually would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one came in about five minutes ago. Yep, yep, yep. Shit. Charge. Sorry. Hey, what's going on, you fuckheads? This is always dangerous. I'm Lino here again. Third time caller, long time listener. Uh, calling for the third time because I fucked the first one up. Didn't respond to me fucking second one. <laughs> but fuck you, cunt. <laughs> now, I've just caught up to date with the latest podcast, starting at number one about two weeks ago. Fuck yeah, bro. Dutch. Did you say some bullshit, right, about not wearing a fucking white shirt in family photos? You're wearing a fucking white shirt with Lou in your fucking <laughs> stupid fucking photo. It comes up on He's my right. fucking screen all the fucking time. He's right. Sort your life out, mate. Love you both. Yeah. Keep pissing. Uru. You are dead right. He's dead serious. I, and that's a family photo. That's a family photo. We've both want, yeah. I've got to take it on the chin yep. or lack thereof. Yep. You're dead right, mate. Fuck it. I yeah. take it back. I'm into family photos wearing all white. But you know what we've said a million times? There's going to be something we said episode two that we fucking hated and then we're going to love it in episode 60. Oh, we are, Louisa, we are walking contradictions. Oh, 100%. That, remember that time we said, Ugh, anyone who drives a convertible and then within three minutes we we're like, yeah, I'm getting one. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm keen. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much to completely sway. We could be so adamant. I could be screaming at Lou about something, and then she'll say something two seconds later. I go, oh, yeah, you're kind of right. <laughs> and I'll backtrack completely. Mm-hmm, so, yeah, I'll take that on the chin, mate. You're dead fucking right. Mm-hmm. It's a tremendous observation. Keep pissing. What's going on, motherfuckers? <laughs> Oh, I just listened to the most recent potty, uh, the subconscious one where Lou wouldn't fucking shut up about it. And um, I just want to touch on when you guys were talking about the uh, the different treats that you like to indulge in. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I have never had a more confusing situation in my life because one second I'm agreeing with Lou, then I'm agreeing with Josh, then I'm agreeing with Lou... And then Josh said something that really got me. And it had to do with uh, black licorice. Stand by it. Mate, you need to grow the fuck up. Yep, thank you. You can't be ranting on about blokes sitting to piss and then say something as fucking soft as, I can't eat black licorice. Mate, get around it. It is unreal. Anyway, keep pissing. Hooray. Right. Keep pissing. Keep pissing. Hooray, brother. you got to try it, Jack. <clears throat> you, Lou, I've eaten that much fucking know, black licorice in my life and I don't like it. Have you had a good qual black licorice? Probably. Yeah, the fucking um, bloody uh, fucking Daryl Lee. Yeah, you can get better qual than that. I'll, bring, I'll the, bring you back some from Europe. Don't want it. I'll, I'll do it. It's not that I can't eat black licorice. There's a it's lot of difference. I want to. It, there's a difference between can't and won't. And I won't because I've tried it a million times. I've, I've sucked it up when that's the only little treat like- that we've had and I've had to eat it. And I'm like, I just don't like this shit. Sorry, mate. Are we fucking boring you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I just had a big yawn. Um, yeah, sitting down to piss and eating black licorice, uh, they're, they're kin. They're two of a kind. Good addition, Lou. <laughs> oh, I fell asleep. I had a micro sleep. <laughs> hey, to match my micro. Oh. No, it's been done, played out. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. Fuck you. Hi, Bad Widows. I have a bit of a story to do. Um, so, I feel called out by you guys, by the way. I am in my 20s and have braces. So Proud of you. Um, but have a few months ago, so like, you know, 25 years old, camping with my partner and I fucking went to bed. I just <laughs> can't explain why. I was in a deep sleep. Just pissed the bed. And then I had to wake him up at 3am and be like, <laughs> I just fucking went to bed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there you go. Your eyes aren't the only one. Wish I was on the piss and 
could justify it, but yeah, bedwetters for life. Bedwetters for life. Amen. Proud of you. The old tent piss. She just must have been really fucking tired and she's pissed the tent. I could do that now. Yeah. Mate, proud of you for, for com- <laughs> coming out because you weren't pissed, you hadn't taken sleeping pills, you just did a piss, you pissed yeah. the bed. Hey, also, the fact that you ca- called out, felt called out by having, mate, I had braces at 25. Don't sweat it. Mm. And she was 25. Same shit. Yeah, you also pissed the bed at 33. Fucking sister. Kindred spizzers. Lou is yawning again. <laughs> She's tired. fucking... Lulu's sleepy. Yeah, it's been pretty busy for Lulu. It actually has, Josh. I wasn't even gambling, Lou. I oh. said a truth. Yeah, no, that was, um, that was an impersonation of Jarchi. If you didn't. Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Don't you fucking dare yawn again, mate. You've... I can't get it out properly. Hey guys, it's Piglet. Oh, Piglet. Oh, get Piggy on. Piglet. Hey guys, it's Piglet. Um, big cock. Um, <laughs> on the topic of gaming, um, I'm with Jarch here. Like, I try to get, I, I'm a working musician, I try to get shit done, but I have my days uh, where I like to not really think about it because at the end of the day, it's a full time job for me. I, I enjoy gaming. I, I, it does take you to a place and, like, I, I've got friends, you know, I'm a moderator, you know, for Twitch, which is a streaming platform for gaming and I guess music as well. Um, and so sometimes we'll be playing, we'll, we'll play, like, 10 to, like, 1 in the morning, which I try to cut it around 1 so I can actually get work done the next day. There but, you go, Lolo. Um, I, it just, time goes so fast because it does take you to a place and it's just... It's a good stress relief as well, I think, you know. Um, Correct. Um, I'm at the roundabout again. I feel like every time I fucking call, I'm at the roundabout, you know. What is going on? I am the Red Lands Reader, so people should what be making way on, for me because... You're taking me on a uh, wave of emotions. Yeah. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to touch base on that. It was really cool. Um, you know what I mean? <laughs> I feel like I went through the whole... A lot of emotions with Piglet. Yeah. Well, he start, what did he start, start? I feel like he spoke a bit too long. He was just getting it. He's just coming to it speak. It was at least 72 seconds. He was... Oh, 78. Piglet. Lulu. Too long. I said 45. Good from you, Bart. How's, how's he going? Yeah, oh, fuck, I'm always at the roundabout when I talk to you guys. <laughs> They're just one round of it. Piglet, big cock. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I thought he was going to finish where he usually finishes. How you guys like itchy squatum? <laughs> Stop fucking yawning, well, mate. Help it. Give me one more. Hey, big rig and Josh. Um, I've got a, uh, <laughs> a follow up of the the bird that was talking about the uh, the whole pie incident where how you eat it, right? Yep. So I've got a similar technique, but uh, I go for the. Uh, you normal take the top off, you put the sauce in the meat, and then I eat the meat by itself with a spoon. Oh. So, yeah, wait, wait, shut up, Lou. <laughs> Listen, uh, so, and then you've got after it, you've got your own, like, pastry edible bowl. It's brilliant. I want to hear your thoughts on it, boys. I, I've done it, and I like it. Why was he going, shut up, Lou? Because he thought you'd be going, oh, fucking, no, that's not how you eat it. Because oh, you're so adverse to this I one. I thought he was meaning like I was like in the corner of his room or something. And he was telling me to shut up. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't know. You've gone to a dark, dark place, sister. <laughs> now, what do you think about that method, Lulu? Fucking. Didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually don't mind having a little bowl. A little pastry bowl, because then you could essentially just get a... You can make your own mints and put it back in there and have another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We're losing her. She's going to Europe tomorrow. She doesn't care about you bedwetters. Fuck off, oh, mate. I'm pep- taking all the bloody... That's pod- pepped her up. I'm taking all the podcast gear to go to Europe. <laughs> Europe. Now, you get to choose a fancy new one, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> don't you? Don't you? Now, who's very lucky, aren't you? <laughs> now, don't you? Now, listen up. Now, you choose one. Down not, or not, up? Not the top one. <coughs> Could 
Fight that. I ain't got to tell you because we've been playing once. We played already. Okay, found that. Right. Don't chop. <laughs> <laughs> You're very clever, aren't you? Don't chop. <laughs> tell my nan used to say it. She'd always be like, oh, it's, no, it's a nice, sh- um, you look great in that shirt, darling. Don't chop. <laughs> oh, that's a, like a nana and grandy's way of saying yeah. like you. I think it's a very Australian, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, you're very good at athletics, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry. That's okay. Let's see what we got. You know, she was um, got a bit of a different one for you. Okay, well, got a poorly described movie plot. And I used to do that. Yeah. I so um, about that guy. Anyway, there's this bloke, and Love this. he's an eccentric billionaire, and he gathers up a bunch of kids. And he takes them on a tour around his facility and slowly kills them off one by one, murdering them along the way. And he also um, has a bunch of slaves for little people who dance every time, oh. dance and sing, every time a child is brutally murdered. So, yeah, and then last kid standing wins everything. So, yep. Love the body. Catch you later. Charlie it's and the Chocolate really- Factory. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. I forgot about that game, Judge. That's a fun game. Why'd we stop that? Because we're fucking idiots, mate. Yeah, I literally forgot about it. (laughs) We've done other things we've forgotten about. Oh, we're supposed to do the sign thing this week. You're going to have to do it when I'm in Europe. No fucking way am I doing it without you. Aren't you? (laughs) (laughs) You're going to have to do that while I'm away, aren't you? Now, now, oh. you've got to be careful overseas, Lulu, don't you? No, this is sad, guys. Don't you? Don't worry, I'll be back in a week from on the pod, probably. What? We, we've pre-recorded a couple eps. Oh yeah. And then and then I'm back from Europe, and I'll be, I'll be, I'll be sipping a pina colada by the pool. Yeah. And I'll be in my hotel robe, living it up in Sardinia. I think at this point. Maybe then. Uh Old fucking uh, bloody piglet. Cool. Piglet. See that the Queensland bandit. Yep. Maybe you'll give him a little show of the legs. They'll be brown. Maybe. They'll be tanned they'll be over tanned. there. They'll be bronzed. They'll be bronzed over there. So maybe piglet, if you're lucky, young fella, you might get a glimpse of the of the thighs. Might get a bit of. Won't t- you? Won't you, piglet? <laughs> <laughs> might get a, um, a bit of tour on the pod. She'll be with me inside in here. Oh, get tour on. Yeah, we'll get tour on the mic. Bit eye candy for the lot of you as well, just quietly. <laughs> Fuck me swinging. Righto. Uh, all right. Hey, Lulu, we're going to miss you. Oh, thanks, guys. Travel safe. We'll fucking see you when we're looking at you. Yep. And, uh... Oh, okay. guys, one massive announcement. Sorry. How could we have forgotten this? We're dumb. We... Have... Got... A fuckload... Of merch. Yep. New merch, really exciting colours, like, everything you want to see. We've got... Got Jumpers, t- we got t-shirts, t-shirts we got trackies, hoodies, hoodies, trackies, shorts. Um, all we mean mail merch coming to a shop near you soon. Well, an online shop. Yes, that is correct. That's what I meant. We've also got uh, ammunition. We've got air rifles. <laughs> we have bazookas. What? No, what? we don't. We mean all we mean well. No, we Brandon, don't. that's a lie. You're lying, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> aren't you? Um, now, but we do. We've got a whole lot of shit. It's coming to you soon. We don't know exact timings, but it'll be in the next week or two. Oh, she'd be fucking close. Yeah. Yep. So we can't wait to see you guys rocking around in that bed with us. It's grouse. It's, it's it's fucking cool stuff. Like it actually looks good shit. winter stuff. Bit yeah. of summer stuff. Good t-shirts. Like, but it's yeah, man. We, we're pretty pumped about it. Yeah, we're very. I'll excited. just put on one of the thing. The bloody what's the what are they called? The three quarters zip things. It's a jumper with a zip. What is it? Q zip or some shit? It's like Q-zip? a sweatshirt what with a little um. Little col- collar, Qu- quarter and it's zip. got a zip. Like exactly what exactly you're wearing. Exactly what I'm wearing, yep. everyone. And um, you know that really new jumper feel mm. where it's all soft and fucked up. Fuck me. I was yeah, like, they, this is nice. so grouse. So, yeah, Bear Wetters, we got a shitload of merch coming. It's deadly as. Look out for it. We'll, yes. we'll, we'll let you know on socials and stuff. Yep. Hey. And bye-bye. Love you, Lou. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Travel safe. Love the lot of you, Bear Wetters. International podcast coming right up. Lulu from Europe. Hot girl summer, Euro summer. It's giving sleigh summer vibes. I can actually say ciao, ciao, because I'll be in Italy. That is a good point. Mm. Hero. Hero.